Hello everyone, welcome back to the Killer Spin Skill Academy. I'm Felipe Morita, I'm here with Daniele Wheels. We are both pros from Killer Spin. And today we're gonna teach you the cross step. For a full course of the Killer Spin Skill Academy, go to killerspin.com and you can find everything about the cross step and much more. Yes, thank you, Felipe. Now we're gonna move on to the 4D studio where one of our pros is going to be teaching you how to do the cross step. And then we're gonna move on to the table and teach you how to do it. Awesome, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, now Biva is going to show you how to do a cross step. I would recommend using this footwork for an extreme ball. For example, as you can see, she is the, in the backhand side of the table. And then when she is moving to her forehand side, she's gonna rotate, move her leg, and contact the ball, and then recover. Right, uh, the cross step, uh, they say cross step because it's a little bit different than the sideway movements that we do uh, on the table. This is in case the ball is a little bit far away from you. And usually it happens like, if you turn around to use your forehand, for example, and your opponent like block on the other side, then you have to use the momentum of turning your body and then crossing your legs in front of you and swinging through with the other leg, hitting the ball at the same time that you're crossing the other leg around. So notice that she contacts the ball and then she cross the other leg to land in a position and then she's gonna reset it immediately after to the right position. Cross steps a little bit different than normal like sideways movements that you do in table tennis where you just shuffle the legs sideways. The cross step, you're gonna cross your leg and then you're gonna swing the other leg over at the same time you perform the shot. So um, I'm gonna start here. Usually the cross step is for the forehand side. So like usually if I'm here in a position where I'm in the left corner and my opponent blocks the ball on the right side, I'm gonna start here, and then my weight is in my right thigh, I'm gonna transfer, and then I'm gonna swing at the same time, just like lands on, on the floor. So again, I'm gonna do it in real speed. Turn. Yes. Yeah. It's really important, like, you know, that I perform like the turning, like I'm going to do a forehand loop. I see the distance from the ball where my opponent is blocking, and then I swing and I turn at the same time. So Daniel is gonna feed me some multiballs where I'm gonna start here in this position because if you're intermediate to advanced level, this happens very often. You are here, you perform a forehand, and your opponent is still returning the ball. So then you have to really catch that one. So since it's far away, this is a good way so you can reach the ball that is far away from you and it's still perform a good shot. Yes, right? if you normally like to use a lot your forehand, Mm -hmm. Be aware that you're gonna be doing this because this is for people that normally play a little bit more far from the table. If, for example, me that I play close to the table, I normally don't use this. Mm -hmm. But if you like to play far from the table, um, this is something that is gonna be really helpful for those balls that are, you know, extreme to get. Yes, for me, then, for example, I'm really like forehand, like aggressive. I like to run a lot of forehands. It's really useful because often like I turn here around to perform a loop and I'm playing often the guy blocks on the other side to move me and I can still perform a good shot. So let's try? Yes. Ready? So turn and I catch the ball. And immediately after I finish, look, I reset to the ready position to play. So here, far, swing, back. Again. So. I'm only gonna go to the ball when I see the ball coming from her racket. Because I cannot go and the ball is here and I'm, I'm getting uh, catch, you know, like in the middle of the way. So I see where the ball is coming, I kind of measure, and then I can do the shot. Yes. Another exercise that you can do to practice your cross step is to play backhand, then forehand from backhand, and then you can practice your cross step. Very common exercise, should then. Yeah. So let's try. Perfect. Nice. So, notice that the timing has to be really important. It's really accurate, you know, like the momentum and the timing that you catch the ball, it has to be kind of like in the right timing because you cannot just swing and then swing your leg over. It's gonna be a little awkward stroke. So, at the same time, 
you contact the ball, you're swinging the leg over at the same time, right? Yes. Another exercise that I can do with Daniele, for example, for, to practice this, I do one forehand here and she block, blocks on the other side. So if I do a forehand loop here, she blocks, cross step. Again, loop, cross step. Again, it starts low. Notice that I'm not killing the first ball because if I go super fast the first shot, she's gonna block fast on the other side. And it's gonna be really hard for you to focus on the, on the form of the, of the cross step. So here, slow. Go. See? Always feeling the ball. One more. Here. Down the line. So, nice. this is a, like some simple exercise that you can start like uh, practicing to develop your cross step. I recommend you to start with multi ball, and when you get really comfortable, you can do the same exercise that the other night we just did. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. For a full course of the Kiro Spin Ski Academy, go kiraspin.com and you can find all the information there. And I'll see you guys next time. See you.